real revolutionary breakthrough of Fox has been it's eliminated journalism. I mean, that's the thing to understand. What Fox News Channel has done is it's stripped out any notion of journalism as we've traditionally understood it from its product. There is no journalism at the Fox News Channel. What? Listen, person, cut his mic. This, uh, listen, that was Chad, stop, 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 stop. Chad, I'm going to test if you're an uh, honest uh, individual. In All right. Bodies and I'm sorry to cut you off. I know not, we're in some controversial fair. stuff here, but it's my religion didn't fair. teach me that. But thank you very much for being here. it's a right-wing network, and you don't want to hear this stuff. You want to do. Not about the kid. It's about you, Jamie. That's good. Okay. Thank you, Jamie. About, about me, the I'm doing, I'm Thank doing, you. yes. I'm, Good night. I'm doing. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you. Sir, sir, sir. Don't take your votes. cheap little pathetic shot. I am telling you that that's You're what You're taking it cheap is. little pathetic shots. Just giving his record. To tell you what the truth is. No, you're misrepresenting his record. I'm telling that's the truth, sir. That's the truth about his record. I understand what your position is. It's not correct. I'd like to hear one single you're on satellite one radio sing- because you right, can't get sing- on regular radio. Paul Evans, Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Bill, if you are so concerned about public figures being bad role models for children, please stop rudely interrupting your guests and telling them to shut up. Well, the shut up line has happened only once in six years, Ms. Evans. Well, you know, I think that asking a student to stay in the closet in order to go I'm to school is a lot shut like up asking about an sex. African-American no, 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 student. No, 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 no. You know what I was up. doing? Shut up. Uh, please don't tell me that. As respect. Why did you have to tell him you were an atheist if you didn't have any trouble reading the oaths? Why didn't you just shut up? What Jimmy Carter should do is privately give Mr. Bush's opinion and shut up publicly. That would be best for the country. And it is our duty as loyal Americans to shut up once the fighting begins. Once the war against Saddam begins, we expect every American to support our military, and if they can't do that, to shut up. All he's got in six and a half years is that I misspoke that I labeled a polka war to Peabody. He writes it in his book. He tries to make me out. No, 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 no. Hey, shut not... up. No, you had your up. 35 minutes. Shut up. I was a Fox employee for three years. I worked in uh, the news. On air or behind the camera? I'd rather not answer that. I, I think I'd rather keep myself anonymous. You'll disguise my voice. Yeah, I've heard directly from folks, uh, both as correspondents and as bookers, who've expressed very great reservations, uh, almost uh, as if they're being monitored by a Stalinist system, uh, afraid to be seen talking to the wrong person or uh, having the wrong kind of email exchange. You're either one of us or one of them. And in leaving Fox News, for example, uh, there were a number of people at the organization, the head of the organization, tried to ruin my career simply because I was leaving, because I didn't leave on their terms, because I refused to sign a confidentiality agreement. That was another reason for them to try to keep me from getting my next job. very much uh, an environment of fear. It was made very clear to us that our activities were being monitored and if someone wasn't watching it live they were at least recording it and they would review it after the fact to see what we did. We weren't necessarily, as it was told to us, a news gathering organization so much as we were a proponent of a point of view. Fox has already been successful in sort of branding me as somebody who can't be trusted and as a result Um, I'm already sort of on thin ice regarding my current employer. I'd been warned by people. Um, There were a number of people who pulled me inside and said, look, you know, I don't know. I mean, I know that you want to work and I know that you need a job, but you might want to think twice about taking this job because really it is a very conservative news network. Now that I've learned comedy writing at Fox News Channel, I guess I should be doing stand-up in the clubs. I think that if you don't go along with the mindset of the hierarchy in New York, if you challenge them on their attitudes about things, your history. I suspect your research has discovered the memoranda that were written by John Moody and by Roger uh, in terms of setting the tone for the day. Uh, The message of the day is a very political uh, device. Let's spend a good deal of time on the battle over judicial nominations, which the president will address this morning. Nominees who both sides admit are qualified are being held up because of their possible, not demonstrated, 
views on one issue, abortion. This should be a trademark issue for FNC today and in the days to come. There was nothing covert about the way uh, the managing editors in New York or Washington operated. They made it perfectly clear what they expected from us. The so-called 9-11 Commission has already been meeting. This is not what did he know and when did he know it stuff. Do not turn this into Watergate. Every morning there was a detailed uh, list of subjects to talk about, not talk about. Kerry's speech on the economy at Georgetown is likely to move on to the topic of Iraq. We should take the beginning of the Kerry speech and see if other news at the time is more compelling. It is not required to take it start to finish. They were just actually issuing edicts to the reporters to control what they could say and how they could say it. Let's refer to the U.S. Marines we see in the foreground as sharpshooters, not snipers, which carries a negative connotation. When headquarters sent a memo every morning and said, we want to touch on the following issues, we want to cover the following stories, we want to do them in this particular way, our job and our objective then was to execute the plan. The pictures from Abu Ghraib prison are disturbing. Today we have a picture, aired on Al Arabiya, of an American hostage being held with a scarf over his eyes, clearly against his will. Who's outraged on his behalf? I've never heard of any other network, nor any other legitimate news organization doing that newspaper or broadcast. Ah. The techniques of poll, odd polling and odd graphics of Democrats and weird banners in the lower third of your screen. These are all pretty sophisticated techniques and they work in collaboration with the most genius marketing slogan in history, which is fair and balanced. So if you're the graphics department and you can put up a liberal flip-flopper as the Chiron, hey, that's great because the next time the graphics department has a discussion with management, management say, yeah, oh, you guys have been doing a great job. Graphics are always moving in the background. They've sort of pioneered the use of the American flag as, as, as an icon of your news broadcast. So there's a lot of stuff that people come up with on their own, which in other news organizations, you'd never think of coming up with some of the stuff, much less even putting it on the air. But at Fox News, there's sort of a, the, you're rewarded for pushing the envelope. And if you're pushing the envelope against a Democrat and in support of a Republican, that's great. The problem comes if you try to push the envelope or, God forbid, should put in some sort of similar sort of style or approach to Republican, then you get yourself in trouble. It is the nervous system of a democracy. If it's not functioning well, the democracy can't function. We're heading toward an election where most people are never going to be in a room with Kerry or Bush. What they learn about the candidates will be what the media shows them or tells them, decides not to show, not to tell. People are faced with critical choices about the future of the country when they go into the voting booth. And I go in, and I have been, through the course of a campaign cycle, subject to false, distorted caricaturing. And I may not even know where it's coming from, because often there's an echo effect off places like cable and like radio. And those wrong pieces of information are repeated and repeated by the time it reaches me. I don't even know what the source was. This is the environment we're living in, and it's, it's, it's really, it's, it's fundamentally undermining democracy, which is based on knowing some good and solid information so I can make an informed choice. like to be premier journalists. We'd like to uh, restore objectivity uh, where we find it lacking and, uh, and uh, certainly uh, uh, there, there could be that interpretation because of my background, but I left politics a, a number of years ago and have run a news organization for the last two years. So we just expect to do fine, balanced journalism. <laughs>